we're back with rigid or however you pronounce this and yeah this is Alcans versus young i'm so sorry well, let me change sides real quick so he brought some rain I assume it's gonna be like an ash grin he has water spam uh yeah sorry he has water spam killed your pussy ninja and what is it? what are these sounds there I guess I'll just leave the call because they're not talking. He goes for protect to scout if um, if it's probably you know Ash or just in general to scout the move and to kind of figure out the set. I assume it's gonna be Specs Ash Green on Elkan's side. He just goes into Kelio and the Pelipper gets a free U-turn here, but he goes for Hurricane. I think I would have gone for U-turn there, but he specs Pelipper, so that does really good damage to Tapu Koko. I think I've seen this team before. I think Trosko made this. Not 100% sure, but I think the Tapu Koko's max HP Stallbreaker with Taunt Ages Madness. If he's intimidated, he can go Mawal here. I assume he's obviously going to be Scarf, Keldeo, and I think he's Ash Greninja. But actually, the uh, oh my God, he scarf Ash Grun he scarf Protein Greninja, and he goes for Toxic Spikes. So I don't think he scarf Keldeo. Then if he scarf Greninja, I was thinking scarf because I know that sorry. Okay, I'm actually not sure which one is the scarf. I just fucked up my narration. But I know that he likes um, T Spikes plus Spikes on Greninja. I don't remember if it was scarf on that set or if it was Expert Build or Life Orb. I think it was Expert Build to be honest. But Spikes served us five million. I know he. I think he has Ice Beam and Dark Pulse on this set, exactly. So Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, Spikes, Toxic Spikes. And he's live or because he's not expert build. So this is in range from Bullet Punch. I, I could see him roosting here, breaking his switch. But he goes for Defog. That also works. And the Akali is gonna click Skull, trying to burn the Tangros. Slash Pelipper doesn't get it. Alcans with a nice double into Specs Philip. I like how he plays this really aggressive, but sorry stays and makes a really nice play, catches him there, and now he gets another chance to burn the Tangros. I can see Alcans doubling back into Pelipa once again. This time sorry switches out. And he doubles back once again. Yeah, I really thought that he would might do that. But yeah, he gets a sucker punch and it kills anyway, so this works fine for sorry. This is gonna be Scarf Chomp? Or Z move jump. I think it could be Z move SD. Yeah, Z move SD makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, he goes for SD. I think it's devastating Drake. Yeah, he goes for protect or a potential Z move, but he gets it wrong. Elkans just throws up the rocks, and now he goes for Z move, and his Landers is getting blown away by devastating Drake. Bop. If he has, is he gonna go? Yes, Ice Beam on his Grand, so I think he can go Greninja. He barely lives in rock switch in. Coco, I don't think Coco can Oko guard him unless it's specs. And I don't think Coco, I don't think Sorry is the type of guy to ever run specs type of Coco. So maybe he just wants to bring this in range from Skull from Kelio. Because I don't think he can Oko, he should U turn. Some HP eyes. T bold and then Taunt on Nature's Madness. What would be the Z move Mon on Sari's team? Did he show that already? I think it could be Z move Zygarde. Okay, he just gets off some nice damage on the opposing Coco that he turns out and he's gonna switch out on the predicted water shuriken. But Elkans makes another aggressive play. Man, I like that they're both playing aggressive. Gets off spikes and he switch into Kelio. As Tangos takes a decent chunk with Burn Rocks and Secret Sword combined, he can go for a knockoff or Giga Drain here. Mowa could yeah, Mowa gets to come out here. And I think he's gonna sack off the scissor. Exactly on the player of I assume. And that connects and the scissor is gone and he can go guard from here. As he's pretty free to click Earthquake, so he doesn't have, doesn't have ground resist at this point or immunity. Momo is gone. I assume he's gonna go. Yeah, exactly. Kill your Coco. And he's probably gonna click Hydro Pump. I don't know if Secret Sword would kill. But yeah, this is Mago Berry. This is the max HP Mago Berry set. Look at that, how little that did. But yeah, 
probably knows he knows that's probably Scarf Kelio. So I was a little confused at the beginning, but now I'm 100% sure that Kelio Scarf and the Winja's Life Orb. I mean, yeah, we've seen a while ago the Winja was Life Orb. But yeah, he can go into Zygarde and Dragnant. He's able to live uh, HP Ice. But the thing is, he might get put into range from Water Shuriken if he takes HP Ice. But he doesn't go for HP Ice, so he can go for E Speed here, not risking anything. Like, I don't know if he would outspeed 100% of the time, so I can understand that he just goes for e-speed. And he switches back out, breaking the Z-move, really nice play from Al Khan's part. Gets the play correct. If Sora did it again there, the game would have been over, I think, yeah. But yeah, he's gonna go for HP Ice here. Zygarde is gonna do for Outrage, and it's gonna do like... Zygarde is gonna 2-hit KO this Tangrowth. And Kelly should just win the game for sorry. Like, I'm pretty sure that I got two hit chaos with Outrage. And Scarf Kill you then should be able to pick off the win with a Secret Sword on Greninja. I thought Sorry was. would play Ray Scarface. I think this is around 2 or 3 for this tournament. It's basically a tour where you can ask like the host who you want to play. But yeah, this should be Sorry's game. If the HP ice crit there, maybe all cons could have won. But now it's definitely over. He has to sack the Tangos like he can't switch. Yeah, he switches, but that doesn't help him because... Okay, so now his win condition is that Desire hits himself. Okay, I understand what he's trying to do. So Desire has to hit himself. And he does hit himself, wow. Oh my god, did Sorry just lose because of that? The Secret Sword really not kill? Yeah, I think Keldeo can't kill this. Damn, he lives on 4% because he really went for his win condition. So yeah, I analyzed that wrong at the end. He had to switch out and bank on the confusion. I get it now. It's an 8th game, man. He basically had it won. I like the one aggressive play where he double scalded early on the double from Ilkhan's part. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload this. Thank you for watching. If I do upload this, and I'll see you with a lot more true coverage. Peace out, friends.